is Gabe Weaver, Senior Product Manager of the Project Management Group in the Play Stage, GitLab, doing our 13.0 major kickoff release video. Uh, for this particular release, we got some exciting things coming. Uh, high level, we're going to start with the uh, second iteration of the Jira importer. The thing we're going to be focusing on with this is going to be mapping Jira issue author and assigning to GitLab users. Uh, what this will enable us to do is more or less take the issues uh, that are in Jira and map the comments and the authors that created them and create recreate those comments mapped to the correct authors within GitLab issues upon the import. This will also let us do things like handling uh, at mentions and descriptions and other cool stuff like that. Uh, the next thing we're going to be doing in the Jira uh, importer is working on the markdown parser. So what this will enable us to do is take the Jira syntax for their descriptions and comments and convert that into GitLab flavor markdown in a correct and extensible way. Um, this base classes for the parser will be also uh, applicable to other importers we build in the future. So that's going to be some important work. There's a lot of other little cleanup things here. We won't get into those, um, but the two main things we want to get to in, in terms of data parity is uh, bringing in the authors, mapping those to GitLab users and the markdown parser. For our second main theme, we're gonna be working on sprints and tracking scope change. So uh, we've had this multiple milestones issue open for a while. What we're gonna do is the smallest iteration here, just add uh, another time box type called a sprint. The sprint will um, be similar to a milestone out of the gate in terms of what's reported on it and how it's set up, so we can reuse that. But the basic idea is an issue will be able to be assignable to both a milestone and a sprint. This will enable uh, organizations that do safe and other kind of multi-level planning breakdowns to attach an issue to a product increment planning, which is usually a quarter long. And that would be the milestone and then a two week sprint, which would be what the actual team tracks the work against and how they organize the, that, the issues into the time box. So we have the UX done here. Everything's good to go. And I think we're for, fairly far along with this already. So we're gonna try to wrap that up. Um, and in terms of tracking scope change, we talked about the uh, burn down chart. So our, our basic proposal here is this is gonna be the first thing we're gonna focus on is the actual burn down chart itself, or excuse me, the burn up chart. Um, and we're pretty close with this as well. We have the underlying backend stuff done. We just need to clean up some things on the front end and we'll be able to push that in. And they're gonna work on updating the milestone report view to show more historically accurate information about what happened during that milestone. So the teams that go in after a milestone can do a retrospective and better understand what they committed to, what they delivered, where they missed things, and talk about process improvements. Another major thing we're gonna be working on is real time. This is an ongoing thing. Our first goal here is to get the WebSockets implementation working in GitLab and then have uh, assignees update in real time on the sidebar. So if you update via quick action, if somebody else on a different client uh, updates it, it would push that update through the server back to the client without needing a full page refresh. So this is a huge undertaking. Uh, we're making some good progress here and uh, I hope to see it live in 13. Uh, we also have a fourth theme, which is chores, bugs, long running investments. This is gonna be things like cleaning up some UX debt issues, moving some promise features down to core, working on a security issue, and then any additional things that we have capacity for, we're gonna try to slip in and get those done in terms of bugs, performance or availability improvements. And that is what we have planned for 13 out of zero for the project management group. Um, you can always find these details in plan uh, issue number 85. And I'll also post a link to that issue in the description of this YouTube video. Have a great day, bye.